fuck me, that was one hell of a workout. To be honest, I've never really trained with anyone that trains that high. respect and learn from in terms of physique what is built is actually phenomenal you don't like so many compliments man keep going <laughs> i love compliments <laughs> it's not fair i'm done that's <laughs> it but guys today we'll squash your shoulders it's gonna be a brutal workout i'm already fucked already i'm gonna first working set so this guy's going to give me the ropes how to build shoulders uh, i'm gonna put his routine the whole the whole the, the reason behind the series is for me to learn from guys like him so I can, you know, progress myself, so you guys can progress, so you can learn a thing or two. I'm basically you know, showing all the wrong things to him. He's already caught me up, man. I don't want no him to learn anymore. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, this guy is setting the bar for what, um, what, what natural bodybuilding is. And I know you guys are gonna love this shit. I know how to take advantage of the spot. As you saw, he just smashed out. He managed to get the weight up and managed to get another four reps without a spot. So sometimes you genuinely don't need a spot. But for me, I'm not sure you need a spot for this one. So yeah, let's see what happens, man. Slight tweak of the angle of the geometry on the bench. Straight away, I was able to leverage the weight. In a way, it makes sense because we're overloading the muscle, we're going heavier. But now, we're gonna go side and lighter. So we're gonna go back to what we're doing before and work on the form, make sure that everything's nice and controlled. Contract, full extension, repeat that motion. Keep that tempo persistent until it burns. Woo! Ready? Come on. Come on, let's get it, let's get it. Let's see you get angry. Let's see you get angry. Come on. Let's go. Up. 
So the idea is to leverage your weight. Obviously we're using the machine to isolate the delt. So it's gonna be the lower head. And that push motion, the fact that we're seated, we should be able to leverage weight and push more weight. So instantly, we're gonna overload our shoulders by putting more plates on. Because it's a machine, we can do a little bit more than we can on free weights. So um, yeah, use that principle to kind of, you know, to short the muscle. Do more than what you normally do on shoulders. And your shoulders will catch up. Your shoulder press will catch up with your leverage press. So keep it up. Three. Four. Keep working. Sit back, sit back. Hold it. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. I didn't see that coming. A bit faster than that, you drop the weight down. One double digits. Yeah, okay. Okay? Yes, Marshall. You hate, you hate me for saying that, innit? It's, it's over for you. Unless you fucking find a way to get 10. But I need le less, no less than 10. I'll figure out, bro. I'm not, I'm not calling the shots, man. Yeah. I'm just doing what he says. You know, finding ways to make it work. Let's get it. You need two more, what? two more. And your set's done. Come on, two <coughs> more. Ah! Oh. Uh, little win, man. Yeah. <laughs> little win, the goat. Yeah, man. That's it, man. Yeah. You know, how, can you see, how can you see yourself from a different perspective? Already, you're already seeing, you see what I can do, but you're also able to see where I can be or where, how far I can push. Because you've got the experience on your head, so you know, you know the direction. Works for me, I'm still, I'm still got a lot, of, um, a lot of doors to open up yeah. to figure out you know, how far I'm pushing it. You know, for me personally right now, I don't feel like I've reached my tier of like, um, I haven't reached the bound of, you know, like of how hard I can train. So now, you know, training like this, I know how much harder I can push myself. When I go back home, I know how much to push myself. Yeah, 100%, man. Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, you want to take the chance to train with other people. It's making people like that harder than you, because that's how I got started. Yeah, there's a it's saying good. that I kind of, has stuck to me, like, when your mind's done, your body's only like 50% done, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's how far you can take your body, man. Yeah. I agree. When I started at 6 and it's just a way through the gym, I'd find the biggest guy. And I had the balls to say, yo, can I do a set with you? Can I yeah. do this? And dude, you push my level so fast. And I feel like you can do that. Good. Five, easy. Easy, keep working. Come on. <laughs> Give me two more now. You control it on the way down. Control it on the way down. Up, 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 up. Give me one more, you control it again. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep pushing, commit to it. Fully commit. That's it. You feel done on this or do you do one more? Yeah? My man. That's it. Yo, you, yo, guys, go, go, go. You know, you're, you're, you're 12 weeks plan. And then once we hit that 12 weeks, that's it. Think of it long term. If your goal is your passion for trading, think of it, you know, you want to be invested in this, you know, until the next few years at least. You're going to be in the best possible shape you can be. This 12 weeks is not going to be far cold. You know, these people, you know, especially people that start, totally agree. People are getting touched with me like, yo, bro, yeah. I've been training for a year now, you know, just should I touch with like, No, keep training, keep progressing. You just get started. You don't even, like, even, you don't even, you don't even scratch the surface of what training is. You know what I mean? When I say, okay, here's my workout plan, I want you to do this for 12 weeks, I'm like, 
do. Just do do what you need to do yeah. every week. Well, 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 I, yeah. What I tend to tell my clients is um instead of just coming and say you want to get in shape, ask them why and actually why? An answer the Your question. Why? Why, exactly. why is it important to you? to you? Once you can get an answer to that and give an answer, what? you actually figure it out, you'll be able to do it, man. Honestly guys, when you have that significance of your when you have that understanding of what you want with anything in life, you chances are you're gonna have it if you stick to it. But the reason why you get in shape. You know, for me, for me, it's, 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 for me, it's, it has more to do with the mindset. You know, you know how I operate. Not necessarily, you know, my physical side, but mentally. Mentally is always like, yeah. And when, when you start, it's more physical. Yeah, when you start. Later exactly. on, later on down the line, it's literally up there, yes, man. Right. That's it's right. Doing this. What I said to say. What I said to say. I was like, dude, I'm gonna be the biggest and the best actual bodybuilder yeah. out there. That was literally my mindset. I was like, I'm ready to, you know, go straight. And then when I hit 19, I kind of looked around, opened my eyes a little bit. Yeah. Shit, there's more to this. Why am I really even doing this? Yeah. And once you open that window, you're like, shit. I think, yeah, I think once you realize as well, like, how many people you actually help, especially you right now, man, like, the, the amount of people that you're helping, like, you know that what you're doing is actually helping someone else be better. I think it helps Crazy. you keep going as well. It's quite difficult to limit yourself when you run out of time, you know. Chances are you can reach out to more people, you can help more people yeah. if you, you know, if you think of it long term rather than short term. Second one, so so right in the middle, and then the rest is fluffy. Squeezy, try to figure out which muscles you're actually trying to work. And just taking your time, man, making it hurt. Like that's the hard bit. Once you find that pain, and then trying to push through the pain when it hurts. Right, so that's what the magic happens to burn. When I started training, that's what I used to chase. Don't wear it hurts the most, that's yeah. why I started calling my reps. Yeah. It's pretty mad. But we need it now, you know, being so consumed in the way, yeah. and I got lost in it. You know. But well, that being said, is that you know, if, you know, you can still do that way with more control, with better form. Yeah. But don't you know, don't limit yourself. Ah! Don't for, you know, keep that persistent. Don't forget about it the next day. Otherwise, you just completely like, well, what's the whole point of doing it? So once when you figure out you want to do something, try to run it for at least four weeks. That's what the change is at. But this is the technique that you should apply from training. Regardless, you know, you know, uh, you know, if you do other exercises that are similar, that's like, you know, it's, it's a step by step. When you sit down, you feel uh, full positioning, shoulder positioning, where your arms are, where your heads are. It's a protocol that you should take. Yeah, man. I can't agree with that. <laughs> that's the shit. I love it. Yeah.
great shoulder workout. My shoulders are dead. This guy took, uh, took me for his uh, shoulder workout. Took, took uh, La Bumba back, to, <laughs> back to school, young man. <laughs> back to square one. And uh, my guy showed me the ropes of what it takes to be a champ. Nah, man. Yeah, we smashed that. He's a champ, man. He like, did everything we had. You know, we set out to do, man. I tried it. I tried for sure. Like, fuck me. That was one hell of a workout. To be honest, I've never really trained with anyone that trains that hard. You know, and that's, yeah, that's big. You know, I'm someone, I, you know, in my head, I think I'm training hard, but you you realize when you train with other people, you're like, fuck yeah. me. You gotta level up. And that's, that's the situation you gotta be in every single time. You gotta look for every opportunity to progress, and that was it, man. Man, man, bro. Well done. Yeah. A man. So it's good to catch up. <laughs>